What to look for in abstract art? It's a brilliant question and it's not asked often enough. The trouble is, we're so busy looking, we're not actually listening. So what do I mean by listening? I believe that all paintings have a voice. It doesn't matter what it is, they have a voice. The trouble is, when we look at traditional art, we're, we're seeing an image and we're not actually asking questions. When we come to abstract art, we're still trying to find that image. We're looking for something. We need to stop looking and start listening. Sometimes that message is really quiet. Sometimes that voice is very subtle. Sometimes it's loud. Sometimes it leaps out at you and goes, way, hey, look at me. But whatever it is, it's still got a voice. Because we're going about it in the wrong way. We've been so brought up to look for things, we've stopped listening. And that's the big secret of what to look for in abstract art. Stop looking, start listening. So how do you do that? The best way of doing that is to half shut your eyes. Is to clear your mind what you think is there. Don't try and see something, but clear your mind and allow the painting to happen. By stepping back, by half shutting your eyes and allowing the painting to, to happen, what actually happens isn't that you start to see things, but you start to see that voice inside you. Because an abstract painting isn't about what is on the canvas, it's about what is inside you. The real secret of abstract art isn't the painting, but it's you.